Are you ready to start the podcast? Hang on, hang on a sec, Richard. What are you just, doing? I just forgot to do something. What? Oh. Can you close the door? Okay. What's that? That's an air horn. <laughs> What's it doing in the toilet? <laughs> don't, Hang on, I don't want to okay. know. I don't ask you personal questions about the toilet. Oh, what are we doing? Why haven't we started the podcast Rich, yet? Rich, we have to tell everybody about our shows that are coming up. Oh, that is so true. We have a, a very exciting show. It's at the Bondi Pavilion as part of the Sydney Festival. Yeah. It's happening in January, from mm. the January the 3rd to mm. January the 13th. Ooh. Tickets are on sale now. And wouldn't it make an amazing Christmas present? <laughs> Wow. Wow. Have everyone in your family say... That's right. Come see the listies make some noise at Bondi Pavilion in January. Let's go! Listies make you pop. Listies make you lol. Listies make you lol. Cast. 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 Rich, what's that song called? Listies. It's called Introduction. To the Listies Make You Lol Cast. Yes. Hello, everybody. Thank you and your ears for joining us on this Our Who Dealt It You Decide Investigate colon Let's Ask Everybody Else because we couldn't figure out who dealt it episode. we, We did. We outsourced the problem to everyone. And I have to say, Nan was pleasant surprised slash alarmed at the multitude of emails that just absolutely flooded in. I think she just got a text message just then. she did, Nan. Oh, it's another one, Nan. Put your phone on silent. We asked and our audience, you listeners, Mm. you delivered. Yeah, you did. We have so many theories. Oh, we absolutely do, Rich. And I just want to point out just while we're here that Nana Waft... Yes. is different to Nan Who. Uh, so true. Yeah. That Did you is know a good that there point. are many Nans? Yes, I do. Yeah. And so, they're all ninjas. Yep. And you can just get them at the Nan sale. Oh, true. Nan, that's true. They've got so many Nans. They've got to get rid of them. Granddad sold separately. Um, that was a little joke for those people that have heard our albums on Spotify. Mm. So here's the problem. We don't know who dealt it. That's right. And you do. Rich, who do you think was the number one suspect? Uh, I think it was Nan. People think Nana Waft, that is, not our Nan. Mm. Sorry, Nan, I'm not accusing you. Yep, Calm down. It's all right. Don't get a bee in we your We know bonnet. that if you dealt it, you'd own up to it. Yes, it's true. Be- <laughs> we would pass out, that is for she, sure. She's really got a bee in a bonnet. Why is she wearing a bonnet? Um, To keep her bees. Ah, oh, fair enough. Uh, yeah, everyone thought it was Nana Waft because, and the, let's have a listen. Over to you, listeners. Hello, my name is Charlotte. Charlotte. And I'm six and a half years old. Wow, sounds pretty good for that age. I think it was the Koran, though, because she was back on the beans. Yeah, good one, Charlotte. Hi, my name is Eve, and I think it's Nan because she's back on the beans. Two for Nan. Two for Nan. I'm heavy, and uh, I 100% think it's Nana Waft because she's back on the beans and not at all trustworthy. Bye! Bye! I have to say, it wasn't 110%. Hi, Listies. I think it was Nan that did the fart because everyone knows that baked beans make you fart. True. And the more you eat, the more you fart. So From true. Owen. Thanks, Owen. Thanks, Owen. The ed- evidence is Nana Waft because he eats lot and lot and lot and lot of beans. Oh, thanks, Alfie. Thanks, Alfie. That was good. Mm, lots Nana and lots. Waft. Lots and lots of beans. Um, so it's obvious with oh, Nan because confident. she because it's not candles, runs, or dad, or the dog. Definitely Nan, because at the end of the recording, there was a can. And when Nan rode away on a scooter, something fell out of the box, and it was a can of baked beans. So... We're just going to pause you for a second there, James, because there's a lot to get through. There's a lot of evidence that James is bringing up, isn't it? So true. Because he says the reason why he thinks it's Nan is because Mm. all the way back in episode one, Mm. when we interviewed Gracie Decibel. Dr. Gracie Decibel. uh, Apologies. Mm. There was a clinkle clankle of a can. Yes. It could have been a recording of a bird doing an impersonation. Uh, That's true. That is true. I didn't think of that. Oh, and also when Nan sped away on a scooter, something fell out of the box. On that, when we did the mushroom out for our vegan listeners. Beans. Anyway, sorry to interrupt. Sorry to interrupt. Just keep it rolling. Richard, Thanks, James. I think. Wait, no. I know that it was Nana Wolf. So we all know is right back on the beans. Hazel is so sure. Hazel, so confident. So confident, Hazel. She knows it with her brain. So there's a lot of people who think that it's Nana Waft. It's true. So many so many so people think it was Nan. I think stealing my watch like 15 times did not endear her to the audience. <laughs> no, probably not. So there's some votes for Nana Waft. Yes. Who do we think it might be next? I don't know. Over to you, listeners. Who did they think? Let's find out. Uh. 
it is not candles because oh. it's not her birthday. Is that obvious? <laughs> she only farts on her birthday. How funny is that? Yeah, it's Nana. It's definitely Nana. Oh, that oh. is Owen from Edinburgh putting in a big vote for Nana Wav. Uh, calm down. Seriously. Well, and That what, was intense. Yeah. Well, what I think is really cool about what Owen has bought up yeah. is that it can't be candles. Yes. Because... The candles only pops on her birthday. That is. And it, we don't know it was their birthday. Well, on. there's so many facts flying around. Let's just keep I'll rolling. Keep, I'll keep rolling. Uh, this is uh, Hamish. I'm Hamish from New Zealand. My top two subjects is Man of Watch and Thursday because after the fart, there was a tin can sound, baked beans, and Thursday said she only fart on her birthday, the end of February, and can't you who said it was the end of February? Ooh. What? Ooh. I hadn't put those two pieces of evidence together. Oh, Matt, you know what we should have done? Oh. We should have taken notes. Oh, that's a good idea. Because I feel like Hamish from New Zealand was taking notes, and I haven't been taking notes. Rich, what did, you know? Um, They're from, better. You know, from the olden days. Yes. Um, and the, you had like you know like an iPad that you could fold in half a, and put it in your pocket. Are you talking or, about paper? Yes, yes, that's it. Yes. And then those those things that you write on the paper. Pe- 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 Paper. Paper with. Yeah, like with. a pen. Yes. Yeah, I've still got papers and pens. Do you? Yes. I, I don't have my pen license, so... Uh, look, look, pens. So what we need to do is find out if the event happened on Thursday's birthday. Oh, that's so true. But oh. just, just put a pin in that, Matt. Okay. Attach okay. a piece of red string okay. to that oh. pin. Actually, that's a really good idea. I'm going to start doing that now yeah, as we do this. That's good, okay. yeah. Oh, that looks okay. good. Thank you. Looks more professional. Red... Who are we going to hear, hear from next? Uh, next well, series. who's your number one suspect? Well, I'm not going to say that, okay. Matt. Okay, I think it might be Colin. Oh, the dad. the dad. Because he had crumbs in his beard. Don't... Did he stay on his gut health diet? Because you don't make farts with salad. True story. But if yes. you're not eating salad... You might make some farts. True. So let's find out if anyone else supports my theory. Hi, listeners. I think it was Nana Wolf and the dad oh. because dad sounded immediately guilty whenever, when the fart was sounded. Oh. And Nana Wolf is back on the beans. Colin was definitely not on his gut health diet, so I definitely think it was maybe them working together. Bye. Oh, thank you, Sophie. Sophie. Oh. So she's narrowed it down to two people. Or two bottoms. Two bottoms, mm. that's so true. So four cheeks is yeah. what she's got it down to. Yeah, that's a four-cheek theory. That is a four-cheek theory. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you, Sophie. So that was one two-bum theory, two-cheek okay. theory. Yeah. Four, four-cheek theory. Four-cheek theory. Yeah. Let's hear another one. Hi, Rich. Hi, Matt. I'm Lucky from Eltham in Victoria. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought it was a granny because she was back on the bench. Yep. And at first I thought it was a granny and the dog. And I thought it was the dog at first because she because compost takes it out of that car. Bye. Can I just say, Matt? Yes, Rich. It actually sounded like our investigator there, mm, Lockie, Lockie from Eltham in Victoria, was actually doing his f- full research uh, by actually being in a car. Oh my goodness! So maybe a bit of research was involved. Maybe a fart was involved too. I don't know. Who knows? I think that the person who dealt it at the car wash wasn't actually a person. Mm. Oof. It was a dog. Uh Compost the dog. Compost did not have a motive. He was just hungry and he could smell something delicious in Nan's unmarked suitcase. Uh, This is some pretty good investigating from Seb. Thanks, Seb. Also, I really like the use of the word motive. (laughs) <laughs> That's like a thing, isn't yeah, it? it? In detecting things. Oh, I know, we should have thought about it. We should have thought that. of motives as well. I'm just going to put compost the dog up here and tie some red string up. Here yeah, we go. That's and, a okay, theory. We'll keep listening to Seb. In the back of the car. Mm-hmm. While no one was looking, he cracked into the suitcase. Using the can opener he found there, Whoa. he opened every one of Nan's can of beans and ate them all. He was proud of the huge sniff sniff he made until he passed out with the rest of the family. Butler tried to save them, but the quality of Nan's beans was so pure that there was nothing the car could do. Whoa, there is so many red string theories I'm to tie up there. writing all this down. The quality of Nan's beans was so pure. Uh, so let's just go through what he said there. Okay, yep. So compost the dog, opened the suitcase, and using a can opener, yes. opened every single can dogs... without anyone seeing this. Yep. In a full car of people. Oh, that makes sense to me. And then the dog was able to consume all the beans. Yep. And the dog was really proud of its sniff sniff. Wow. Thanks, Seb. This should be your podcast, really. Yeah. 
Actually, Seb can take over because I'm pretty tired now. No, okay. no, come back. I don't know who did it and I'm freaking out. Who else we got? Well, one person that we haven't really talked about yes, yet, yes, Rich, yes. is Lance. Oh, yeah, go on then. Yeah, so Elliot's got a really good theory about Lance. Okay. Um, I think it's Lance because he turned off the lie detector and um, it would ruin his career. Oh, Rich. Yes. Do you know what I mean? The like, political dimension. Yes, because Lance is running for school president. He sure is. Was definitely lying because of the lie detector. Oh, so true. And maybe Lance was a little bit nervous. Yes. And you know when I get nervous... Yes, exactly. Like now? I know. Like don't, I'm, I'm don't, really no, no, now. don't get nervous. Okay. I'm, Calm down. Okay. Think of <sighs> think of calm running streams. Mm. Think of water yeah. running. Think of fountains. Yeah. Okay, now think I of being wee. at the beach. I get a wee again. Just think of lovely okay, just things. Just go. <laughs> now I've arrived at a calm place. Oh, can we get rid of that air horn in the thing? Thanks for your thoughts, Elliot. Thanks, Elliot. Well, that's everyone, isn't it, Matt? Well, not Everyone, Rich, because most people thought it was Nan. Yeah. But the second most thought of person wasn't a person. It was the butler. What? The car? Perhaps the butler did it. <gasps> Let's hear the theories. Hello, I'm Emily and I'm five years old. I I 100% think the car dealt it because it can melt make spells... And it's really he bad to do. And I really think that's bad. Okay, so Emily really thinks that's bad. It sounds like Emily is not only the detective, but she's the jury and the judge. Oh as well. my goodness! She thinks it's bad. So the car makes smells. That's yeah. That's something that a lot of people thought. Thanks, Emily. Hi, my name is Liam, and I think it's the butler because the car, the car is super evil. The car was pretty evil. It was pretty evil, it Rich. Was, it wouldn't let us out. It locked us in there. That was, that but was evil. But thankfully, using my hacker skills, yeah. I managed to get us out of there by pushing as many buttons as I can. And I do encourage all of our listeners that whenever you get into a car, what? begin pushing all of the buttons no, don't as do fast that. as you can, no, just in case you do get locked in there. Do not do that. And I, for one, no. am very grateful for this car escaping podcast that I present. Anyway, Jack's about to say something. Hello, I'm Jack and I'm seven years old. I think it was Nana Waft and the car because it two smells, two farts combined would equal a really powerful smell that would have knocked them out. So the car and Nana, one-two punch. Oi! Combo team. Oh, yeah! Interesting, interesting Mm. combo there. That's another two-cheek theory. (laughs) Do cars have cheeks? Mm, Let's find uh, out. Maybe somebody else will say that. No, I think that's two cheeks and and two cheeks and two rear bumpers, maybe. Uh Bumper. I think that was the car because the butler knew that the listies were unhappy and decided to... Oh. What's going on? I don't know. It, it changed the smell when it saw the listies were unhappy, didn't it? Wait, the who's pop, this guy? It's a private investigator. The really? The was hired. Oh, that's yes. cool. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But you know what that means? What? It decided not to change the smell in the car wash because oh. it would have known the family were unhappy and it didn't. You can tell these guys are professional. Oh, my goodness. Listen to that. Listen to that. Honestly, it's, this is like Midsummer Murders. So the car has the power to make smells. Yes. And if it... Could have changed it. Could have changed it. Chose the smell, to not. Chose not to. Oh, thanks, private detective. Oh, wow. That that's really amazing. That's a really good theory, oh. isn't it? Hang on, here's Reese. Hello, my name is Reese. I'm eight and a half years old. No, nine and a half years old. Get it right. And I think it was the car because it makes smells. But there's a very vital piece of information missing. Go on. So, if it was on Thursday's birthday, yes. and I'd immediately say it was her, don't you think? Bye! No! Oh, God. Well, I mean, Seriously, Rich, what? When you think about it, what? that Thursday birthday theory... Yeah. It's pretty good. It's and pretty when you good. think about like what kind of powerful you'd need to make everybody pass out. Like oh. if you save them up for a year. Yeah. I think it's, it's good. almost as powerful as when uh Reese said bye. Bye. Hi, I'm Owen and I'm seven years old and I live in Edinburgh. And I think it was the car because you know when they went camping? Yeah. yeah. It could have been because it was stinky. Oh. and it wanted its revenge mm. on the stinkiness. 
So then he did his fart, smelled out of its smell dispenser. Bye bye. Yeah, see, Edinburgh is a, is a town of like mystery and detectives. Rich, you that's because the world's most famous detective is from there. Inspector Rebus? Sherlock McHolmes. Uh, no, what are you talking about? It's Sherlock Holmes' Scottish cousin. No, what? That's not a thing. Yes, it is. No, it's not a thing. <laughs> oh, my brain is breaking. So I'm just going to tie up a bit of more string oh, on yeah. our string board here because I think that that's a really good theory. That's not all, Matt. Mm. We've got a written one oh, yes. from Harper McKellar, who's thank 13 you. years old from oh, Melbourne. Thank you. And she's says, I propose that all of them did it. Ba, 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 what? After That's crazy. All, yep. After all, a dog's nose never lies. Baked beans obviously make your bottom burp. Candles doesn't need anything to go on. Yep. Dad could have done a nervous one. Trust me, that happens, yep. she says. Butler <laughs> could have just propelled it across the entire car. Huh? And that they're all lying apart from the dog. P.S. Super big fan of the show. Love your albums, and you guys are hilarious. Thank you for your time. Sent from my iPhone. Aww. Aww. Thanks, iPhone. So, Rich, what if everybody in the car did it? That's patently ridiculous. Uh, why, Rich? No one would possibly think that was true. Ah, uh, heaps of people agree with me. Hello, this is Bela from Kansas City in the United States of America. Wow. And I am and I think that it was everyone, like mm. um, Compost said, because everyone seemed a bit suspicious in their own way, and then Compost said that it was everyone. So I think that the whole family all made the stinks together. Ah, see, Bela and agrees. So, oh. Yeah, that's what I think about the Lambert cleaning car wash incident. Thank you. Well, that was very succinct. See what I mean? I, I don't teach. I, I... And I am seven years old. Okay. I do that everyone let off the gorse. The gorse. Thank you, Honoris. Wow. Hi, my name's Leonard. I'm nine years old, and I think everyone did the part. Oh, wow. Hello, my name is Nathan. I did the calculations, and it should be everyone <gasps> except first day oh. and. The dog. That makes yeah. heaps of sense. Does it? But I think that all of them did it. I think that every single one. Rich. What is happening? How did how did this person leave a message? Is uh, it via a cup and a piece of string? No, Rich, this what? is Finn. Okay. Or AKA Lord Hunky Hair. Lord Hunky oh, Hair. Yes. And Lord Hunky Hair, I think they were probably being eaten by a lion. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, who knows? Well, good luck with getting eaten and digested by a lion. How good are those theories? Oh. It makes so much sense that yes. it should just be everybody, right? I mean, a couple more combos, one more written combo. Hi, Rich and Matt. Hamish thinks it's a dog. Maisie thinks it was the car. Jake who's the dad, thinks it's the dog. It's always the dog. Yeah, that's what dad would say, because it's probably always dad. Well, there you go, Matt. All of the theories, they're, they're all percolating. Uh, they're not all of the theories, Rich. OK, why? Uh, there's just one more person that really? people thought it might have been. Go on. <laughs> and I think that this could be the most correct of all of them. <laughs> go on. So I think that Matt was in the boot because he was running away from the police because he didn't have a driver's licence and he farted and he was pretending that he didn't know who did it the entire time. I that think was it Lily. was Matt, definitely, because he is a criminal and who would be recording that? I mean, who would be recording a giant fart in a car? And maybe they were just playing a prank on Rich to make this, like, entire Who Dealt It series. It was 100% Matt. <gasps> Matt can fight on command. He's a criminal of the toot stuff. A criminal of the toot stuff? Thank you, Nate. I am not. And before that was Beth, and before that was Lily. And they all think it's you. Uh, Rich, I've got a confession to make. Was it you? <laughs> <laughs> Rich, but how good are those theories? Oh. It makes so much sense that it should just be everybody. There's a lot of everyone theories there. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the red string, and I'm just going to oh, get a bit of hang it on. here, no, that's, and I'm going to tie but it But it's up. going over the door, Matt. And I'm going to put it here. How are we going to get out of the... I don't know, Rich. We can't. That's, I that's too much string. That's good. And then it's going to be there, and it could no, be here and it could have been then because she's back on the How are we ever going to work this out? Birthday's birthday, but no. Thanks for listening and thanks to everybody that sent us their theories. Ah, uh, yeah. If you'd like to come and see one of our shows, you can see us at the Bondi Pavilion as part of the Sydney Festival. From the 3rd to the 13th of January and then we're going to Wyong. Why not Wyong? That's right. Bye, everybody. Bye. 
This podcast is written and recorded on the lands of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. 